जय हिंद फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू कल्याणी आई एस अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल स्टडी डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम नाउ स्टार्ट द लेक्चर एंड अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज न्यूट्रिशन सी द ह्यूमन बॉडी कंसिस्ट ऑफ डिफरेंट सेल्स टिश्यूज ऑर्गन्स एंड ऑर्गन सिस्टम्स टू टू फंक्शन प्रॉपर राइट टू फंक्शन प्रॉपरली टू ग्रो टू स्टे हेल्दी एंड to repair to repair to repair these components of body if there is any injury nutrients are required right nutrients are required and the human body obtains these nutrients in the form of food through the process of nutrition so nutrition is the process of obtaining nutrients in the form of food and utilizing these nutrients to grow stay healthy and repair any damaged body part repair uh, repair any uh, body parts of the human beings right and through the process of nutrition you would be able to understand what is digestion right to understand digestion we need to know the nutrition process right so what is nutrition see simply the nutrition is the process of obtaining nutrients in the form of food and utilizing these nutrients to grow stay healthy and repair any damaged body part and this nutritional process in humans is classified into five stages you have to remember these five stages for mcq question right the first is the first stage is ingestion then digestion third is absorption fourth is assimilation and fifth is ingestion what is ingestion right ingestion is the process of taking in food right and there are different types of uh, this stages in different organisms right but in human beings the buccal cavity is the buccal cavity uh, buccal cavity is the site of ingestion of the food in human beings right so what is ingestion ingestion is the process of taking in food then comes a second stage which is digestion why is digestion and what is digestion see the digestion is the process of breaking down large and water insoluble molecules into smaller and water soluble molecules so that these molecules these molecules may be absorbed by human body then these molecules may be assimilated by human body and these is uh, these smaller and water soluble uh, food particles are used for energy growth and repair of the cells of the body right now question why humans right why humans consume larger food particles right so my dear students humans obtain food in the form of food grains yeah humans obtain the food from food grains right you know that the plants or the crops right the plants and the uh, the plants and the trees are autotrophs right what is the meaning of autotrophs the plants and crops are autotrophs and these plants or crops synthesize their own food in the in the in the presence of sunlight using chlorophyll and these these plants synthesize their food and store in the form of starch right starch now starch is a polysaccharide right what is polysaccharide polysaccharides are those carbohydrates which are water insoluble right in soluble right so these are water insoluble particles and if these are water in water insoluble particles therefore these particles cannot be absorbed by human body and cannot be assimilated therefore digestion is required right because in the process of digestion these large particles or water in uh, these large particles or water insoluble particles or these this starch which is polysaccharide which is water insoluble is broken down into smaller or water soluble particles so that these food particles or these nutri nutrients can be absorbed by human body can be assimilated by human body 
therefore digestion process is most important right so what is the digestion right the larger food particles are broken down into smaller water soluble particles and this process is known as digestion then absorption right after the process uh, after digestion the larger or water insoluble particles are broken down into smaller and water soluble particles and these uh, these water soluble particles are absorbed by right absorbed by bile in small intestine right and uh, absorbed in the blood stream then comes assimilation right assimilation or uh, assimilation is the process of utilizing or using these absorbed water soluble particles for energy growth and repair of the cells of the body right then comes the process of ejection what is ejection see in the process of digestion in the process of digestion larger food particles are broken down into smaller and water soluble particles and these particles are absorbed then assimilated for energy growth and repair but some undigested food are remaining and these undigested food needs to be removed out from our human body right so ejection is the process of removing out the undigested food from the human body in this way the process of nutrition completes right so there are five stages of uh, nutrition first is ingestion then digestion then absorption fourth is assimilation and fifth is ejection right we will understand this topic we will uh, we will understand this topic in these five process so that you could understand the nutrition process in humans as well as you can understand the digestive system and digestion right now study digestive system right digestive system before knowing what is digestive system you must come to know what is digestion right what is digestion see the process of the process of breaking down large and water insoluble particles of food into smaller and water soluble molecules is known as digestion right is known as digestion and human body has a fully developed digestive system for this process right the parts of body or the org the organs of uh, the organs of the body which are involved in the digestive process are collectively known as digestive systems and the human digestive system the human digestive system is divided mainly in two parts the first is alimentary canal and second is axillary digestive glands the first is alimentary canal see element alimentary canal is a long tube right long tube which extends from the buccal cavity or mouth of human body to the anus of the human body and there are different parts of this alimentary canal for an example buccal cavity right pharynx oesophagus stomach right small intestine and large intestine then comes axillary digestive axillary digestive glands so there are two axillary digestive glands the first is liver and second is pancreas right so we have to study this alimentary canal and these digestive glands right one by one and you have to prepare this topic so that you could come uh, you could solve every mcqs related to these we have to understand this process as a whole so that you could understand this whole topic as well as we have to prepare the factual data so that right we have to prepare the factual data so that so that different mcqs right uh, so that you could solve different mcqs right now now i would like to tell you that which type of mcqs would be asked from this topic right because when i will make you understand the whole topic i will not repeat the uh, repeat the same sentence this question would be like this question would be asked like this this question would be asked like this right you are well understood right the factual information is asked in the form of mcqs right for an example this may be asked in the mcqs right which is the length yeah what is the length of alimentary uh, alimentary canal in the human beings right 
and what is the extension of what is the extension of elementary canal in the human wings right how many there are uh, salivary glands in human bodies right fir jo tongue hai right tongue why is the tongue important in digestive system right jo salivary glands hain unme kon kon se enzymes paaye jate hain right what are the four different types of teeth right तो यहां से इस तरीके के जो क्वेश्चन है वो एग्जाम्स में पूछे जाएंगे राइट विच इज द लार्जेस्ट सलाइवरी ग्लैंड विच इज द लार्जेस्ट सलाइवरी ग्लैंड ऑफ ह्यूमन बॉडी राइट या विच सलाइवरी ग्लैंड एक्सक्रेट्स द सलाइवा मैक्सिमम, राइट और लाइसोसाइम राइट लाइसोसाइम जो एंजाइम होता है उसका फंक्शन क्या होता है तो इस तरीके के जो डिफरेंट क्वेश्चन होते हैं वो एग्जाम्स में पूछे जाते हैं राइट सो देर फोर आई हैव मेड यू अंडरस्टैंड कि जो इसकी फैक्चुअल इंफॉर्मेशन है वो एग्जाम्स में पूछी जाएगी राइट एंड वी कुड कम टू नो दिस टॉपिक एज अ होल देर फोर हम इसकी प्रोसेस को बहुत ही अच्छे से समझेंगे जो भी फैक्चुअल इंफॉर्मेशन है यू हैव टू कीप दैट फैक्चुअल इंफॉर्मेशन इन योर माइंड सो दैट यू कुड सॉल्व एम सी क्यूज इन द एग्जामिनेशन राइट नो नो वी विल स्टडी द फर्स्ट पोर्सन right the first portion of the human digestive system that is alimentary canal right and after that we would study the axillary digestive gland so let's study the alimentary canal see alimentary canal see alimentary canal is a long and continuous tube which extends from the mouth of human body to the anus and the length of alimentary canal is about 30 feet long and there are different parts of this alimentary canal right now i would draw a diagram here so that you could understand you could understand what is alimentary canal see alimentary canal is a long tube right alimentary canal is a long tube right now focus here see this is right this is elementary canal sorry so this is a elementary canal wait for one second see now this elementary canal extends from the mouth to the anus of the human body and there are different parts of this elementary canal right here is a large intestine this is large intestine this is anus right this is a small intestine which begins here to the largest intestine right so this is elementary canal right so this is elementary canal and you have to keep in your mind the three facts right what are the different three facts right the first fact is that elementary canal is 30 feet long right elementary canal is a 30 feet long right so there is a long and continuous tube which is known as elementary canal or gastro intestinal tract this is 30 feet long tube which extends from the mouth of human body to the anus and there are following parts of this elementary canal the first is buccal cavity right where is buccal cavity in this diagram right so this is the buccal cavity right this is buccal cavity this is buccal 
right this is buccal cavity after that here is a pharynx right pharynx then this is the portion of oesophagus oesophagus right then right so this from here from this mouth this is buccal cavity and this is the portion of uh, alimentary canal is pharynx then this this long tube is known as oesophagus the fourth is stomach right so this is stomach right then this is intestine intestine and this is a small intestine right this is a small intestine and this is large intestine large or big intestine right so these are the six parts of the these are the six parts of the alimentary canal right intestine right so you have to keep you have to keep in your mind the three facts the first is alimentary canal is a long and continuous tube uh, continuous tube it extends from the mouth of human body to the anus of the human body and the length of alimentary canal is about 30 feet it is divided into following parts the first is buccal cavity this is uh, commonly known as mouth then pharynx this is known as also voice box then also phagus right or we can say that food pipe then stomach right and next is intestine right and this includes small intestine as well as large intestine right now let's study about the buccal cavity right buccal cavity buccal cavity is also known as oral cavity so buccal cavity is also known as oral cavity and the oral cavity is the first part of the alimentary canal this is the first portion right so the oral cavity or the buccal cavity is the first part of the alimentary canal the oral cavity contains tongue and teeth as well as salivary gland so you have to study the three uh, questions here right salivary glands right so the first part of the the first part of the alimentary canal is known as oral cavity or buccal cavity and this buccal cavity or oral cavity contains the tongue as well as teeth and salivary glands and these organs of the human body plays an important role in the process of digestion how let's study tongue see tongue is a organ right tongue tongue is a organ right and taste words are found on the upper surface of the tongue to perceive the taste and this question have been asked in the many examination how do you right how do humans perceive the taste so it is because of the taste words which are found on the upper surface of the uh, upper surface of the tongue uh, tongue right so taste taste words are found on the upper surface of the tongue to perceive the test which gives the experience of sweet sure and salty and bitter taste the tongue perceives sweet taste from the frontal part right so if this is the tongue then this is the frontal part and from the frontal part the uh, we perceive the sweet taste right so the tongue perceives sweet taste from the frontal part of the tongue right then salty and sure taste from the middle part and bitter taste from the back part right so here salty and sure and here bitter right so from the front, uh, from the frontal part of the tongue right it perceives sweet taste right from the middle part of it it perceives salty and sure taste right and the uh, and the uh, the back part of the tongue it perceives bitter taste clear next teeth right so what we need to know here see the first is human is heterodont right what is the meaning of heterodont see there are many organisms which are having right 
yeah, which are having similar type of teeth. For an example, you have seen uh, many fishes, right? And which are having same type of teeth, right? This type, right? So many organisms have same type of teeth, but human is a human is heterodont, which means that human have different types of teeth. For an example, incisor, then canine, then premolar and molar. So the first MCQs, the you have to keep this fact for MCQs. The first is human is a heterodont, which means that human has different types of uh, different types of teeth. For an example, incisor, canine, premolar and molar. Second is human is theocodont, which means that these these uh, these teeth are placed in a particular particular place, right? Jisko hum khacha bhi bol sakte hai, right? To is tarikhe se, these teeth are placed in a particular place, right? Third is, human beings are, right? Diffidont. Diffidont means that there are two types are, there are two types of teeth which are found in human beings. First is, first is uh, permanent, permanent teeth, and temporary temporary teeth jinko kya bola jata hai milk teeth bhi bola jata hai ya dood ke daant jinko hindi mein kaha jata hai right so human beings are diffodont which means that which means that humans has temporary teeth right so, zero age से लेकर जो है fixed uh, five to six years तक जो है temporary teeth होते हैं, right? जिनको milk teeth भी कहा जाता है, right? उसके बाद में जो है permanent teeth आते हैं, right? Animal is the top layer of the teeth, and animal is the hardest part of the human body. ये भी कई बार question पूछा गया है, which is the hardest part of the human body. So, animal which is the top layer of the teeth, and this is hardest part of the Teeth, right? As we know that human is heterodont, which means that human has different types of teeth, which are incisor, canine, premolar, and molar. What are the characteristics of these teeth? Let's understand. The first is incisor, right? Incisor are right incisor. The frontal teeth to cut the food are known as incisors. For an example, this is carrot. I will cut like this. So here the frontal teeth are. राइट सो जो फ्रंटल टीथ जिनसे फूड को कट किया जाता है उनको ही इनसीजर कहा जाता है नेक्स्ट केनाइन राइट सपोज यू आर यू वांट टू यू वांट टू हैव अ शुगर केन देन कैन यू कट द शुगर केन लाइक दिस नो यू हैव टू टियर द कवर ऑफ शुगर केन लाइक दिस यहां पर ये जो केनाइन टीथ होते हैं जिनसे हम शुगर केन का जो कवर होता है उसको निकालते हैं राइट इस तरीके से ये जो पूरा का पूरा जो कवर है ये निकाला जाता है उसको ही क्या बोला जाता है केनाइन टीथ बोला जाता है तो केनाइन टीथ ऐसे टीथ होते हैं जो कि शार्प होते हैं जिनसे फूड को टियर किया जाता है या कवर को रिमूव किया जाता है देन प्री मोलर एंड मोलर टीथ राइट तो मोलर और प्री मोलर टीथ आर ऑल्सो नोन एज चेक टीथ क्योंकि ये हमारे जो चेक्स हैं, राइट right? यहां पर ढके हुए होते हैं राइट right? तो ये जो है प्री मोलर टीथ एंड मोलर टीथ ये कवर्ड होते हैं हमारे चेक्स के द्वारा इसलिए इनको चेक टीथ भी कहा जाता है एंड दीज आर यूज टू ग्रिंड द फोन्ड और चिविंग द फूड तो ये फूड के चिविंग के लिए या ग्रिंड के लिए जो है मोलर और प्री मोलर टीथ होते हैं जो थर्ड टाइप ऑफ मोलर टीथ होते हैं राइट द थर्ड टाइप ऑफ जो मोलर टीथ होते हैं दे अपीयर एट द एज ऑफ 20 ईयर एंड एट द एड एट द एज ऑफ 20 ईयर राइट ह्यूमन बीइंग्स ह्यूमन बीइंग्स अटेन द मैच्योरिटी देयरफॉर इनको विजडम टीथ भी बोला जाता है तो यहां पर क्या आपको याद रखना है थर्ड मोलर अपीयर्स एट द एज ऑफ 20 ईयर्स राइट देयरफॉर राइट एंड दीज आर नोन एज विजडम टीथ और ये सबसे लास्ट में आते हैं मोस्ट पीपल हैव फोर विजडम टीथ राइट सो इन दिस वे वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट टंग राइट वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट टीथ नाउ लेट्स स्टडी अबाउट सलाइवरी ग्लैंड्स राइट सलाइवरी ग्लैंड्स सो देयर आर थ्री टाइप्स देयर आर थ्री पेयर्स ऑफ सलाइवरी ग्लैंड्स Right? If this is asked in the examination, then you have to keep in the mind there are 
three pairs of salivary glands which means there are total six salivary glands how many six salivary glands so there are three pairs of salivary glands or there are six salivary glands in human beings right the first is parotid right parotid is the largest salivary gland right parotid is the largest salivary gland and i would like to draw here a diagram so that you could understand right the first is right we have studied about the teeth right then we have studied about the tongue so this is tongue right we have studied about teeth then salivary glands so there are three salivary glands right the first is i would like to decorate this diagram so that you could understand this is human right modern human beings latest hair cutting right okay so uh jo parotid gland se wo kahan par payi jati hai the parotid gland is found near the ears right yahan par jo hai parotid glands payi jati hai so this is parotid gland parotid glands right then yahan par second ho jayegi kaun si सब मैंडिबुलर हो जाएगी एंड सब क्या हो जाएगी लिंगवल हो जाएगी राइट तो सब लिंगवल एंड सब मैंडिबुलर सब लिंगवल जो है वो डायरेक्ट यहां पर पाई जाती जो ये जो यहां पर पाई जाती है ये कौन सी हो जाएगी सब लिंगवल सब लिंगवल और यहां पर जो है जो ग्लैंड्स पाई जाती है ये कौन सी ग्लैंड्स होती है ये होती है सब मैंडिबुलर clear so there are there are three pairs of salivary glands which means that there are six salivary glands which are found in human beings three left side three on right sides so there are total six salivary glands right so there are total six salivary glands or there are three pairs of salivary glands jo parotid glands hain parotid glands jo hain near ear ke yahan par pai jati hain right so the salivary glands are found near the ear and these are the largest salivary glands of humans right then comes submandibular submandibular submandibulars are those salivary glands which secretes maximum saliva so largest salivary glands kaun thi hain parotid hain then submandibular jo hain राइट सब सब मैंडिबुलर जो ग्लैंड्स होती हैं वो मैक्सिमम सलाइवा को सेक्रेट करती हैं और जो स्मॉलेस्ट सलाइवरी ग्लैंड होती हैं उनको क्या कहा जाता है सब लिंगवल कहा जाता है राइट सो ऑल सलाइवरी ग्लैंड्स सेक्रेट सलाइवा व्हिच कंटेन्स 99 परसेंटेज वाटर एंड 1 परसेंटेज ऑफ एंजाइम right salivary glands are not found in frogs as well as whales you have to keep this fact in your mind so that uh, if mcqs is asked in the examination then you can answer right to so humans mein three pairs of salivary glands pai jati hain but frogs mein aur whales mein salivary glands nahi pai jati hain right wahi the salivary glands jo hain salivary glands secrete saliva right which contains 99% is water and 1% of enzyme for an example lysozyme right to lysozyme jo enzyme hai wo kis mein paya jata hai saliva mein paya jata hai right to yahan par is tarike se jo hai humne yahan par puri ki puri process ko yahan par samajh liya hai now we would study the digestion right डाइजेशन क्यों क्योंकि इंजेशन क्या होता है इंजेशन को हम जो है पढ़ चुके हैं राइट इंजेशन इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ टेकिंग इन फूड एंड द वक्कल कैविटी इज द साइट ऑफ टेकिंग इन फूड इन ह्यूमंस नाउ कम्स द डाइजेशन राइट सो द डाइजेशन स्टार्ट्स फ्रॉम द ओरल कैविटी और बक्कल कैविटी 
right this question have been asked in many examination right so the digestion starts from the oral cavity or buccal cavity food is churned right in the oral cavity with the help of saliva right so jo buccal cavity hoti hai buccal cavity mein teeth hote hain aur teeth jo food hai usko chabate hain right churn karte hain ya right so the food is churned or chewed in the oral cavity with the help of saliva by the teeth and saliva mainly contains two type of digestive enzyme the first is ptylin and second is lysozyme right and you have to keep these these enzymes right so saliva mainly contains two types of digestive enzyme ptylin and lysozyme right saliva contains an enzyme ptylin which breaks down the polysaccharide to disaccharide carbohydrate right so starch which is polysaccharide so starch which is polysaccharide this is broken down into disaccharide maltose by ptylin right to so, ye fact aapko yaad rakhna hai starch which is polysaccharide is broken down into disaccharide maltose by ptylin enzyme then comes lysozyme right lysozyme and thiocyan uh, thiocyanate ion present in the saliva destroy microorganism and bacteria right if these are available in the food to hamare food mein yadi bacteria ya fir koi bhi microorganism hota hai राइट right? तो उनको किसके द्वारा डिस्ट्रॉय किया जाता है लाइसोजाइम के द्वारा किया जाता है राइट right? तो इस तरीके से जो सलाइवा होती है देर आर थ्री पेयर्स ऑफ राइट देर आर थ्री पेयर्स ऑफ सलाइवरी ग्लैंड और सलाइवरी ग्लैंड से सलाइवा सेक्रेट होती है जिसमें टाइलिन एंजाइम पाया जाता है जो कि स्टार्च को डाइसेक्राइड माल्टोस में ब्रेक डाउन कर देता है एंड लाइसोजाइम जो है वो थायोसाइनेट आयन के साथ में जो माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म है या बैक्टीरिया है उनको डिस्ट्रॉय कर देता है इन दिस वे 30 परसेंटेज ऑफ कार्बोहाइड्रेट इज डाइजेस्टेड इन दकल कैविटी राइट दिस इज ऑल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द एम सी क्यूज परपज राइट यहां पर ना तो हम फैट की बात कर रहे हैं और ना ही वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट प्रोटीन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट कार्बोहाइड्रेट तो अबाउट थर्टी परसेंटेज ऑफ द स्टार्च प्रेजेंट इन द फूड इज डाइजेस्टेड इन द ओरल कैविटी इट now second is pharynx right see pharynx is fibromuscular by shaped tube attached to the terminal end of the buccal cavity or mouth right it mainly involved it is mainly involved in the passage of chewed or crushed food from the mouth to also phagus right to so, yahan par agar hum dekhte hain to jo mouth ka terminal end hota hai right there is a muscular right there is a muscular uh, muscular portion of the there is a muscular portion of this alimentary canal which is known as pharynx right and pharynx jo crushed food hota hai usko kis mein pahunchata hai oesophagus mein pahunchata hai right and this is oesophagus right so this is pharynx and this is oesophagus clear so pharynx is a fibromuscular by shaped tubed attached to the 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 terminal end of the mouth and it is mainly involved in the passage of chewed or crushed food from mouth to the also phagus right and this is also the important uh, important portion of the respiratory system we have studied in the previous lecture right जो pharynx होता है pharynx के नीचे ही क्या पाया जाता है larynx पाया जाता है right and larynx is also known as voice box right because the important function of the larynx is to produce the sound but at the what what at the beginning of the larynx there is a leaf like structure which is known as epiglottis right and is this epiglottis plays an important role in the respiration because when we eat food this epiglottis closes the trachea so that food particle could not enter to the uh, could not enter to the lungs right to is tarike se jo larynx hai aur pharynx hai right ye dono hi respiration aur digestion mein important role play karte hain then comes oesophagus right oesophagus is a long tube that opens into the stomach right jo ki ek muscular bag hota hai 
तो ओसोफेगस एक लॉन्ग ट्यूब है दैट ओपन इन टू द स्टोमक एंड ड्यू टू इट्स पेरिस्टेलाइसिस राइट योर ये जो है क्वेश्चन एग्जाम में पूछा जाता है ड्यू टू इट्स पेरिस्टेलाइसिस राइट ये जो है इस तरीके से क्या होता है कि ये सट आ, मतलब आ, क्लोज आता है और क्या हो जाता है फिर फेल जाता है तो ड्यू टू इट्स पेरिस्टेलाइसिस द फूड मूव्स डाउनवर्ड्स एंड नो डाइजेशन टेक्स प्लेस इन द ऑसोफेगस नाउ कम्स द स्टोमक राइट व्हाट इज स्टोमक सी स्टोमक सर्व्स एज अ मस्कुलर बैग व्हिच इज सिचुएटेड टू वाइड द लेफ्ट ऑफ द एब्डोमिनल कैविटी बिनीथ द डायफ्राम right in the previous lecture we have studied lungs right and beneath the in the respiratory system we have studied about diaphragm beneath the diaphragm there is a muscular bag which is known as stomach right this is vital uh, organ acts as a storage of the food right and yahan se jo hai डाइजेस्टिव एंजाइम्स जो है पाए जाते हैं राइट मैं आपको यहाँ पर डायग्राम से जो है समझाता हूँ सो दैट यू कुड अंडरस्टैंड क्लियर आफ्टर दैट वी वुड वी वुड स्टडी द थ्योरी राइट ओके लेट्स स्टडी सो दिस इज मस्कुलर वैग विच राइट दिस इज द मस्कुलर वैग सी सो देर इज अ मस्कुलर वैग देर इज अ मस्कुलर वैग विच इज फाउंड बिनीथ द डायफ्रॉम दिस इज नोन एज स्टूमक right there are two function first is this is a storage site right storage right so it provides storage uh, storage facility for the food second ye jo stomach hota hai iski jo internal walls hoti hain iski internal walls par jo hai glands pai jati hain right aur unko kya bola jata hai gastrial glands bola jata hai one minute ओके okay, तो यहां पर क्या पाई जाती है यहां पर ग्लैंड्स पाई जाती हैं और इन ग्लैंड से जो है तीन चीजें निकलती हैं राइट सो हियर आर द गेस्ट्रिनल ग्लैंड्स राइट गेस्ट्रिनल ग्लैंड्स आर फाउंड इन द अपर वॉल्स ऑफ दिस स्टोमक राइट और यहां से जो है देर इज अच सी एल चलिए ये जो गैस्ट्रिनल ग्लैंड्स होती हैं इनसे एच निकलता है राइट दीज गैस्ट्रिनल ग्लैंड सेक्रेट एच सी एल एज वेल एज म्यूकस एज वेल एज द डाइजेस्टिव एंजाइम्स राइट तो ये स्टोमक हो जाएगा एंड दिस इज द साइट ऑफ प्रोटीन प्रोटीन डाइजेशन ओके लेट्स स्टडी द स्टोमक राइट सो स्टोमक सर्व्स एज अ मस्कुलर बैग राइट स्टोमक सर्व्स एज अ मस्कुलर बैग विच इज सिचुएटेड डाउनवर्ड द लेफ्ट साइड ऑफ द एब्डोमिनल कैविटी बिनीथ द डाइफ्राम राइट ये एक स्टोरेज ऑर्गन के रूप में क्या करता है फंक्शन करता है साथ ही साथ द स्टोमक आल्सो प्रोड्यूसेस डाइजेस्टिव एंजाइम्स एंड हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड दैट मेंटेन्स द प्रोसेस ऑफ डाइजेशन राइट इट इज अ क्रिएशन स्प्रेड इन द चेस्ट कैविटी ऑफ द लेफ्ट साइड और इसको थ्री पार्ट में डिवाइड किया जाता है द फर्स्ट इज एंटीरियर जिसको कार्डियक भी बोला जाता है देन मिडल पार्ट जिसको फंडिक भी बोला जाता है एंड थर्ड इज पोस्टरियर जिसको पायलोरिक भी बोला जाता है अब इसमें डाइजेशन कैसे होता है उस पूरी की पूरी प्रोसेस को हम यहाँ पर समझते हैं राइट एज आई टोल्ड यू अर्लियर दिस स्टोमक इज द साइट ऑफ प्रोटीन डाइजेशन द फर्स्ट एंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक राइट तो जो स्टोमक है वो प्रोटीन डाइजेशन की मेन साइट मानी जाती है साथ ही साथ इसके जो इनर वॉल्स होती हैं उन पर गैस्ट्रिक ग्लैंड पाई जाती हैं राइट सो गैस्ट्रिक ग्लैंड क्लियर गैस्ट्रिक ग्लैंड प्रेजेंट ऑन द इनर वॉल ऑफ द स्टोमक सेक्रेट गैस्ट्रिक जूस राइट एंड विच इज एसिडिक हाईली एसिडिक होता है जिसकी पी एच वैल्यू वन पॉइंट एट होती है जो गैस्ट्रिक जूस होता है गैस्ट्रिक जूस में क्या होते हैं डाइजेस्टिव एंजाइम्स होते हैं राइट सो दे आर आर डाइजेस्टिव एंजाइम्स इन द गैस्ट्रिक जूस सच एज पेप्सिन एंड रेनिन एंड हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड एंड म्यूकस सो दीज थ्री थिंग्स आर इन गैस्ट्रिक जूस 
तो जो स्टोमक है स्टोमक की इनर वाल्स में पाई जाती है गैस्ट्रिक ग्लैंड जिनसे गैस्ट्रिक जूस सेक्रेट होता है इस गैस्ट्रिक जूस में वन थिंग एच सी एल होता है विच इज हाईली एसिड एंड द पी एच वैल्यू इज वन पॉइंट एट सिक एट डाइजेस्टिव एंजाइम सच एज पेप्सिन एंड रेन इन एंड थर्ड इज म्यूकस नाउ वी विल नाउ वी विल अंडरस्टैंड द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ दीज थ्री द फर्स्ट इज इन द प्रेसेंस ऑफ एच सी एल इन द प्रेसेंस ऑफ एच सी एल पेप्सिनोजन कन्वर्ट्स टू एक्टिव पेप्सिन एंड दिस पेप्सिन ब्रेक डाउन द प्रोटीन इन टू सिंपलर मॉलिक्यूल्स फर्स्ट प्रोटोसिएसिस देन पेप्टोन्स तो एच सी एल के प्रेसेंस में पेप्सिनोजेन जो है कन्वर्ट हो जाता है पेप्सिन में और ये पेप्सिन जो है फिर प्रोटीन के ब्रेक डाउन में इंपॉर्टेंट रोल प्ले करता है सेकेंड सेकेंड हो जाएगा यहाँ पर प्रोरेनिन राइट right? तो जो प्रोरेनिन होता है वो इनेक्टिव होता है राइट right? जो इनेक्टिव प्रो प्रोरेनिन होता है वो एच सी एल के प्रेसेंस में ही रेनिन में कन्वर्ट हो जाता है राइट एंड दिस रेनिन कन्वर्ट्स द कार्सिनोजिन प्रोटीन प्रेजेंट इन द मिल्क इन टू कैसिन तो ये आपको टू फैक्ट्स आपको रिमेंबर रखने हैं राइट द फर्स्ट इज इन द प्रेसेंस ऑफ एच सी एल पेप्सिनोजन कन्वर्ट्स टू एक्टिव पेप्सिन एंड ब्रेक्स डाउन द प्रोटीन इन टू सिंपलर मॉलिक्यूल्स सेकेंड इन द प्रेसेंस ऑफ एच सी एल इन एक्टिव प्रोरेन इज कन्वर्टेड टू एक्टिव रेन एंड दिस एक्टिव रेन इन कन्वर्ट्स द कैप्सिनोजन प्रोटीन प्रेजेंट इन द मिल्क इन टू कैसिन राइट एंड अनदर तो इस तरीके से ये दोनों के फंक्शन हो गए अब हम देखते हैं यहाँ पर म्यूकस के राइट सो म्यूकस इज आल्सो कंपोनेंट ऑफ गैस्ट्रिक जूस विच प्रोटेक्ट द स्टोमक बाय रिड्यूसिंग द एसिडिक इफेक्ट ऑफ द गैस्ट्रिक जूस राइट आल्सो अनदर एंजाइम प्रेजेंट इन द स्टोमक गैस्ट्रिक लाइपेज राइट जो कि फैट्स को कन्वर्ट करता है ट्राई ग्लिसराइड में क्लियर सो इन दिस वे दिस इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ डाइजेशन इन स्टोमक राइट नो फूड कम्स टू इन टेस्ट टाइम right so the length of human intestine is about 22 feet see the length of alimentary canal is 30 feet out of which the length of intestine is 22 feet aur is jo 22 feet length hai isme small intestine bhi aati hai aur large intestine bhi aati hai right so the large, the length of human intestine is about 22 feet the length of intestine in vegetarians is relatively longer right so that additional surface area can be provided for the food absorption human intestine can be divided into two parts first is small intestine and second is large intestine the first is small intestine see the small intestine is divided in two three part the first thing i would like to tell you that why this is Known as a small intestine. See, this is long but narrow, and this is this is short but wide. This is the difference between two. जो small intestine है, small intestine ऐसी intestine होती है. This is long in length but narrow in width. and here the large intestine is short in length but wide in width right to so, jo small intestine hai small intestine is divided into three part the first is duodenum then jejunum then ileum right to so, jejunum duodenum jejunum and ileum duodenum is the first portion right if i would like to draw here a diagram right then you can come to know right this is duodenum this portion is known as duodo duodenum right then the mid portion is known as jejunum and the last portion is known as ileum right so there are three parts there are three uh, there, uh, there are three parts of small intestine duodenum jejunum and ileum right after leaving the stomach the acidic food is known as chyme 
राइट एंड जैसे ही कायम किस में आता है ड्यूडोनम में आता है वेन कायम रीचेस द ड्यूडोनम राइट वाइल जूस कम्स आउट वाइल जूस कम्स आउट एंड गेट्स मिक्स इन दिट राइट तो जैसे ही जो कायम है वो किस में पहुंचता है ड्यूडोनम में पहुंचता है तो उसमें जो बाइल जूस है जो कि कहाँ से सेक्रेट होता है राइट तो द लीवर सेक्रेट बाइल जूस राइट वाइल जूस कम्स इन ड्यूडोनम एंड गेट मिक्सड इन दिस कायम और जो कि एल्कलाइन होता है और ये जो फूड है उसको क्या कर देता है एल्कलाइन बना देता है क्योंकि हमने देखा था जो स्टूमक है राइट द गैस्ट्रिक the gastric glands are uh, the gastric glands are found in the inner walls of the stomach jin se highly acidic hcl secrete hota hai right and this hcl makes the food acidic but jo wild juice hota hai wo alkaline hota hai and this makes the kayam alkaline right jo uh, wild juice hota hai usme koi bhi enzyme nahi hote hain but this wild juice is important for the digestion of a uh, fat right after that pancreatic juice comes from the pancreas and get mixed in the in this kayam after that it reaches in the ileum at right, where the action of intestinal juice occurs on the kayam so yahan par jo small intestine hai isme three juices kya hote hain get mix hote hain right three juices get mixes right the first is wild juice then second is pancreatic juice and third is right intestinal juice right now understand the digestion in small uh, small intestine see as soon as the food enters the small intestine right or we can say that as soon as the food enters the duodenum three juices wild juice pancreatic juice and intestinal juice are added to it the first is wild juice a wild juice kya hota hai see the first is yahan ka jo every fact hai this is important for the mcqs purpose which may be asked in the mppsc prelims examination the first is wild juice is secreted by the liver right so wild juice is secreted by the liver but it is stored in gall bladder and wild juice is a greenish yellowish slightly alkaline liquid right so if we see a uh, 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 the diagram here then we will have to erase this okay so now we will have to draw the two this is liver right and here is a gall bladder here is a u shaped pancreas right this is liver and this is pancreas pancreas theek hai to jaise hi jo food hai right ab humne dekha tha ki yahan par jo स्टूमक है स्टूमक में प्रोटीन का डाइजेशन हो जाता है साथ ही साथ यहाँ पर जो फूड है वो एसिडिक हो जाता है बट जैसे ये ड्यूटोनम में आता है तो सबसे पहले यहाँ पर गाल ब्लेडर से आकर इसमें क्या मिलता है वाइल जूस मिलता है राइट एंड वाइल जूस इज सेक्रेटेड बाय द लीवर देन इसमें से पेनक्रियाटिक जूस आके मिलता है और फिर जो इलियम है इसमें आकर जो है इंटेस्टिनल जूस इसमें आकर मिलता है इस तरीके से क्या होता है ये पूरा का पूरा प्रोसेस होता है राइट सो वी वर टॉकिंग अबाउट द वाइल जूस राइट सो वाइल जूस राइट वाइल जूस इज सेक्रेटेड बाय द लीवर एंड इट इज स्टोर्ड इन गाल ब्लेडर जो कि एक ग्रीनिश येलोइस क्या होता है स्लाइटली एल्कलाइन लिक्विड होता है वाइल जूस में कोई भी एंजाइम नहीं पाया जाता है राइट नो डाइजेस्टिव एंजाइम आर फाउंड इन द वाइल जूस एंड अबाउट 600 हंड्रेड एम एल पर डे वाइल जूस इज प्रोड्यूस्ड इन ह्यूमन बॉडी राइट नो डाइजेस्टिव एंजाइम इज फाउंड इन द वाइल जूस बट वाइल पिगमेंट्स सच एज विलुवरीन बिलीवरडीन इटीसी आर फाउंड इन द वाइल जूस राइट 
and two salts are present. First is sodium glycolate and sodium torocolate. And these salts break down the fat present in the food with the water into small droplets, which is known as emulsification of fat. Right? So which means that this wild juice is important for the emulsification of fat. You have to keep this fact in your mind. Right? Fat ke emulsification ke liye wild juice responsible hota hai. Wild juice also plays an important role in the absorption of fat soluble vitamins. For an example, vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E and K. If a person's gallbladder, right? If a person's gallbladder is removed. Right, which means that if there is no, there is no wild juice, then the digestion of food in the the digestion of fat in that person not possible. Right, so उससे जो fat है उसका जो है नहीं हो पाएगा. तो wild juice के दो important हैं. सबसे पहले चीज़ तो sodium glycolate और जो sodium torocolate salts होते हैं, वो fat के emulsification में important role play करते हैं. Also, wild juice plays an important role in the absorption of the soluble vitamins. For an example, vitamin A, D, and D, E, and K. Next, pancreatic juice. Right? The pancreatic juice is secreted by the pancreas. Right? So, pancreatic juice is alkaline, which is secreted by pancreatic cells, and it contains it contains 98 percent of water and 2 percent is enzyme right these digestive enzyme present in the uh, present in the pancreatic juice right for the digestion of carbohydrate fats proteins therefore it is also known as digestive complete digestive juice or ye kai bar exam mein poocha gaya hai right so many type of enzymes are found in pancreatic juice which plays an important role in the digestion of carbohydrate, fats, protein. Therefore, this is also known as complete digestive, uh, digestive juices, right? It contains enzymes like amylase, trypsin, right? <coughs> Carbopeptides and lipase, etc. Next, intestinal juice, right? As soon as the chyme enters the ileum, right? Ileum. उसमें आकर क्या मिलता है इंटेस्टिनल जूस मिलता है तो इंटेस्टिनल जूस इज अ पेल येलो स्लाइटली एल्कलाइन लिक्विड राइट इट इज सेक्रेटेड बाय द इंटेस्टिनल ग्लैंड्स एंड अबाउट टू टू थ्री लीटर टू टू थ्री लीटर ऑफ इंटेस्टिनल जूस आर सेक्रेटेड डेली द फॉलोइंग एंजाइम्स आर फाउंड इन द इंटेस्टिनल जूस द फर्स्ट इज माल्टेज राइट एंड दिस माल्टेज converts maltose which is disaccharide to glucose which is monosaccharide second lactase right lactase converts lactose which is disaccharide into glucose and galactose then second sucrase this converts sucrose sugar into glucose or fructose and erythrin right this erythrin breaks down Dipeptides and tripeptides components of protein into amino acids, and these amino acids are used by human body for the repair of body cells. In this way, food का जो है complete digestion यहाँ पर हो जाता है, right? When the digestion is complete, then absorption starts. So देखिए, after complete digestion of food in the small intestine, its absorption also take place by the villi. Located in the small intestine. So, the villi, which is where they get the small intestine, right? These villi absorbs the digested food in the form of glucose and add it to the blood. Then assimilation, right? After complete absorption of the food, the food is carried by the blood throughout the body, where food is assimilated by the tissues, right? The undigested chyme. Reaches the large intestine, right? अब जो digested food है, उसका क्या हो जाता है? Assimilation होता है, but जो undigested chyme होता है, right? Reaches the large intestine where water is absorbed, right? Water absorb किया जाता है, साथ ही साथ कुछ minerals भी absorb किए जाते हैं, and after that the remaining chyme collects as feces or stool expelled through the anus. Now, ejection, right? Ejection, what is it? Absorption of water 
and mineral salts. Absorption of water and mineral salts from the undigested food takes place in the large intestine and the undigested food is eliminated out of the body as a solid matter known as stool from the body through the anus. Anus, a part of the large intestine. Clear? So, the adjacent is what is the large intestine? The large intestine is what is absorbed by the mineral, absorbed by the mineral. It is a storage, right? It is a storage site. Now, let's study about large intestine. See, as comparison to as comparison to small intestine, large intestine is wider than a smaller intestine but shorter in length. In human, its length is 5 feet long and 2.5 inches wide. So in this way, the length of elementary canal is 30 feet. The length of large intestine is 5 feet, which means that, which means that, sorry, the length of elementary canal is 30 feet. The length of intestine is uh, 22 feet if the 5 feet is the length of large intestine then the 70 foot would be the length of small intestine right so you have to keep the length of a small intestine is 17 feet length of large intestine is 5 feet total length of intestine 22 feet total length of the elementary canal is 30 feet Right? This large intestine is divided into three parts. First is cecum, then colon, then rectum. White. See, the large intestine, jo hai, the large intestine does not secrete any enzyme. And yahan par koi digestion bhi nahi hota. Kyunki digestion complete kaha par ho jata hai, small intestine mein hi ho jata hai. The large intestine does not secrete any enzyme. Its function is to store undigested food for some time or ye bhi bhoti mehtapoon hai kyunki you eat food in the morning pie morning time but all the day long you don't go to fresh right in the morning time jo bhi aapki biological cycle hoti hai right hum fresh hone ek uh, uh, specific time mein hi jate hain right to ye undigested food ko approximately 24 hours tak jo hai kya karti hai 24 hours or 12 hours tak jo hai store karti hai. So its function is to store undigested food for some time. Also mineral and some water, sorry, some minerals and water are absorbed in the large intestine. Ab yaha par, in the previous lecture we have studied the vestigious organ, right? So in humans a twisted and coiled structure about 2 inches long emerges from the cecum, right? This is known as vermiform appendix and this vermiform appendix is a vestigial organ, right? So in this way we have studied the large, uh, large intestine as well, right? The length of large intestine is 5 feet long. There are three parts, first is cecum, colon, then rectum. The main function of the large intestine is to store undigested food for some time. Here water and some minerals are absorbed and after some time, jo stool ke roop mein hai, wo undigested food kya hota hai, eliminate out ho jata hai, right? So in this way, we have studied the process of digestion in human body, right? Here is the diagram so that you could remember easily, right? So is tarikhe se jo anus hai, yaha se jo food hai, wo bahar kya hota hai, nikal jata hai, right? So we have studied the process of right we have studied the process of digestion in human body right now we will in now we will meet in next lecture and we will study about the digestive the digestive uh, digestive glands right because we have studied more than one hour so therefore in upcoming lecture we will study about liver as well as the pancreas right so we will meet in upcoming lecture and we will study about the digestive the digestive glands and we will study the excretory system right so now we will meet in next lecture till then thank you